Hey guys, not really a planned video, but nothing is. I just cannot stand this anymore. It's driving me nuts. So um, I dug around and I found this Brazilian bond builder that I bought. I actually bought it back in 2022. And, um, and so I'm just going to throw that in. I'm just going to do uh, like just a deep clean hair wash day. I'm just going to get in there with shampoo. It's just, you know, it just feels dirty. Um, it's just time to give it just a good moisturizing since I'm not planning on doing any of our neons right now. But I just, I just feel absolutely gross. Like I just need just like a, just a day, you know, so uh, just to kind of just reset. So uh, I just thought I'd pop on here and say hey. And here we go with this. But I did, um, it wasn't really planned, but you know, I couldn't help myself. I'm, I couldn't remember when I bought this. And I can't remember if I actually, you know, used or how I liked it. I used it. I know when I was like bleaching my hair a lot, it was uh, back before I started doing videos. Um, or maybe I bought it right before I did my very first video. I didn't even talk in my first video. Wow. Uh, no power in my first video. The power was going out in the middle of summer. So that was fun. But I realized it's been a while and I was digging around because, you know, I just wanted to see what I had going on here. And I just realized that uh, I'm actually really curious if this is even going to do what I want. I just want this a nice, my hair nice and clean. I just want it to, my fingers to be able to run through it. You know, get a good brushing. So stop shedding. You can, I suppose you guys are a little far away, obviously. But you can tell it's just, it just needs something, right? And I have like an apogee treatment and stuff that I was saving for you guys, but I was thinking about using that when we bleach or try one of my color removers or something. Um, or, you know, when we do one of those things that come on to save it. Right now, we're just going to be doing more vivid colors. Wow. And maybe some lightening with that. So um, I'm not planning on using that yet. So anyways, the point is I'm digging around. I found this. And I did uh, hop on and kind of check the price and stuff. So, uh I'm going to throw this in and, and let's see how um, it ends up. I'm going to leave it in for about an hour. I, w I almost did this without you guys and I thought, nope, nope, I missed them. I can take the two seconds to turn on my camera, say what's up. I know it's not a huge, big, exciting like hair color video or anything, but you know, I love you guys. I wanted to check in and here we are. I'm going to get my hair wet, throw this in, and then, you know, I'll, you know, maybe fill you guys in on... And I'll fill you guys in on the details. Uh, I got some pictures for you and some comparisons. And uh, hopefully a nice quick video so that uh, we can get on with our week because it's going to be a long one. And hopefully I'll be able to see you guys again at the end of the week. Much love. See you in a second. Discombobulated as always. I'm going to use this Moisture Maniac shampoo. I'm not usually a fan of shampoo. It dries all my hair. But, you know, we got to clean our scalp. We got to clean it. Get that out of there. It's a dry and dull hair sulfate free shampoo my hussy's uh, mom and sister actually gave us this with a conditioner i can't remember when and uh, i actually ended up really liking it so which is i'm so picky i really don't have a favorite yet but um i do like this so i'm gonna get that done shampoo and then i'll throw this in my hair and fill you guys in much love i just uh i just kind of washed it on the side of the tub i didn't want to get all the way in and i got it wet and i kind of just towel dried it a little bit I didn't want to get all the way into the shower because I'm going to be letting this sit in my hair. And also because I use a shower chair, honestly, and I don't like showering when there's nobody here. So here we go. I just put my hands. It's pretty thick. You know, um, I have thick hair, so sometimes that's a good thing and a bad thing. I'll just show you guys. I'm putting it in the back. Just coat it. It says to put it on from roots to ends. But I sometimes, I really don't like putting a lot of stuff on my roots, you know. Makes my hair feel just gross to me. Kind of dirty already. So I tend to put it more just further down my roots. But I am going to put it pretty close up today. just And just really get a good layer because I just really want to give it a boost. And okay, and I guess I'll get into what it is too. I just figured uh, as far as my own time management that I should get it in first. Um, so what we got here, it's the Brazilian Bond Builder 3. I found this on Amazon in 2022. So um, as far as how long these kind of products last, I don't know. 
that could ha have something to do with how this works. But it's an instant restore and protect reconstructor. I've seen a lot of like um, ads and stuff. We're gonna we're gonna practice my multitasking, people. See, I've already used it when I bleached my hair, but I really can't remember if it gave me the results that I wanted. As far as like you know the smooth silky smooth, but uh, what was the point? See, I'm so bad at this multitasking stuff, but I gotta practice. I think I need a scalp massager. Any any tips on the scalp massager, people? Everybody, tips. My son got one, so I don't want to use his, but I wonder if that would feel so nice. My head gets really sore, just in general. Um, anyways, off track. Uh, any, oh, God, let me just try and get to the beginning here. So, anyways, I bought this uh, when I was bleaching my hair a lot. I also bought, they have, like, uh, I see a lot of ads. I've seen ads on Instagram and stuff. I don't remember if that's how I came across it in the first place or if I was just typing in best products for bleaching hair. You know, and I remember I do have like a B3. I had to actually get that somewhere else because I think you need a, a cosmetology license and I don't have my license uh, to get that. It's like a leave-in or it's like an add-in that you put when you're bleaching hair. Almost like an old plex, I'm guessing. Um, anyways, so, but this uh, they had on Amazon from their line. But, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> when I looked it up on my Amazon order history, this was 30 that is not normally what I would spend on something I must have been I think that was back when I just had absolutely nothing really left for moving and I was just kind of really missed just doing my hair and I was trying to uplift myself a little bit um so anyways where was I so anyways the price eesh, so I think it's kind of good that we're gonna do a review on it seems like I was almost out um, so I'm going to give you guys an honest review just because uh, it just kind of popped up in my pan my pantry, my hair pantry. And so I thought that since I was going to use it anyways, and considering the circumstances, we should do a review. So I'm doing a really good coating on my hair. And uh, $36. Put the picture up there so you guys can see that. So the price is already making me a little nauseous. I must have really, really wanted my hair to, to cheer me up and feel silky because my goodness, that was, I was going through a little bit of stuff back then. So uh, we got that up. Um, anyway, so the price already kind of hurts. And I also, you know, I've been really wanting to try more Brad or the X Mondo line from Brad Mondo. You know, there's my other video and that we that I have if you guys have watched it, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, oh gosh, such a self care day for me. I, there's the squirrel again. I swear my brain who's with me. Anyone else's brain fried? You guys probably already know that I'm scatterbrained, so this is nothing new for you. Uh, 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 so the Brad Mondo line, I gotta hurry before my phone dies so I can get back to you guys. I'm gonna leave this in for an hour. Um, it protects against breakage. Wait, no. Okay. Ugh. This is really good practice for me, for my brain. Um, so Brad Mondo, the X Mondo line, they have stuff I want to try. Their prices, when I checked on Amazon, are $24, $26. And for his reconstructors, and all of his prices seem about the same. And so since I don't want to, if I didn't want to wait and I wanted to do an Amazon thing, I know there's my other video where I did the X Mondo and I got it Amazon and I was pretty disappointed as far as not his line or the brand, but as far as the Amazon, it had hair dye on it. And I was like, what? So um, there's that video too, if you're interested. But anyway, so I did recommend probably getting it. It's the same price, maybe a better deal from his website. Anyways, the X Mondo line. I haven't gotten to try any of those, but I'm just thinking this is this will be a good review because this is uh, more expensive and it's pretty. I see it a lot out there. It caught my attention, you know, this brand, this line. And so I just really want to compare that. And then hopefully we'll be able to compare later on when we try X Mondo's stuff. You know, just got to just got to budget and continue. So we will get there, I promise, unless 
unless I go for Amazon again because I can't wait. But either way, it all costs the same. So I'll budget. If you guys are interested, I'll, I'll get that going soon. Uh, maybe I'll get that for when we bleach the video. I've been thinking about a silkening gloss because I think you can use that to mix with your color as well. So let me let me know what you guys think. See, now I'm going squirrel because I'm thinking about all this other stuff that we're going to do. And um, this is not about that. So um, this, though, helps. It protects against breakage, helps strengthen and reinforce bonds, provides invasive, intensive hydration, helps prevent color fade. I'm, I swear I'm going to get glasses. Maybe I'll try online cheap lens, uh, lenses because this is, I have my eye prescription. I just need to. Um, so I just said after shampooing, you know, put a generous amount roots to tips and leave on five to 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly. So I'm guessing, you know, it's going to be like, and here's uh, if you guys can read any of that, if you're interested, uh, you can zoom in and figure that out. So, um, it does says it helps red color fade. I did notice that this is six fluid ounces and a lot of the Brad Mondo stuff I was looking at or X Mondo line on there. Cause that's, I didn't look at Olaplex. That'd probably be something else to compare to. Let me know what you guys think. But as long as along this line, of stuff uh, and since I'm interested in trying his stuff th this is six fluid ounces and um, so is most of his stuff so the price his stuff is actually cheaper and we won't know unless we try if it's gonna work better for my hair everyone's hair is different but for now this is what I have to work with I'm crossing my fingers it works out well I'm gonna leave it in over an hour I really want to get it soaked in there it says five to ten minutes and I'll, I'll check back with you guys and let you know how it's going and then um and besides that, much love. I hope you're having just a bad day. Oh my God, you can't swear and beep yourself out or it just sounds like I hope you're having a bad day. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'll add a beep in a bad day. That work. Eh, I hope you're having a really good day. And as soon as I find something to hang this up with, it just keeps sitting here. In case you need some color in your day, stare at this for a second. I just love it so much. It makes my heart happy. All right, guys. Much love for the millionth time. And by the way, hang in there because you are absolutely amazing. And my phone is dark because the battery is about to die. So I'm kind of talking into an abyss, a very darkened abyss. But you out there in the darkness, I love you. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. I got something to show you guys. Hold on. Yeah, are you ready? Ready? It's this day. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm blind. I can't see. So I'll see you on the other side, huh? If that wasn't your thing. You can also have some um, coffee. It's uh, Folgers with Almond Joy Creamer Whipped Cream in a Dunkin' Donuts coffee cup. Because I went to the doctor today, so I deserved a treat. And another one when I got home. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wash this out. I'll see you guys in a second. P.S. I hope that made your day brighter. If it wasn't so bright, that was some sun for you. And if you're up north, <coughs> it's nice there too. Okay, fine. Come say hi. Come say hi. Rooster. Oh, oh my goodness. There, yeah. you happy now? Are you good? I'm gonna go wash out my hair now. Toodles. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> All right, I just got done rinsing it out. I don't really have any, too many opinions on it yet. Um, you know, sometimes when you're washing out conditioners and masks, you can kind of tell right away when you're washing out the water how it feels. But also, sometimes I know for me, a lot of times, I like don't really know how it's going to be until it's it's all the way dry. And you guys probably know from my other review videos, kind of go through the motions. I'll, I'll love it for a second and then... But I've, so to be honest with you right now, it feels... I mean, and it did say it has a color protector... So this is what we're working with. It doesn't, it doesn't feel, you know, bad. It feels like, uh, and it, and it, and I know it's supposed to be a bond, right? Helps reinforce bonds and, and the hydration. 
it's hard to read. <laughs> it's all pretty. And that's probably backwards. So, okay. So, yeah, we got, it's like, uh, it's a reparative treatment. But I can tell I'm playing with my hair. So, that means for me that I like it. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to brush my hair with a, when it, while it's wet. Because I'm just going to cause breakage and everything else. Um, if you didn't know that, you know, uh, apparently I didn't know that when I was younger, but that'll cause breakage and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I mean, my hands are going through it really well. A wide tooth comb would go through it. It's making my curls look, or my wavy hair look, you know, nice and shiny. Um, I play with it too much. I'm probably going to get crazy frizzy hair. Sorry, I left my uh, sports top on so that you guys could get a good look at the back. And also because I didn't want to get my shirt all wet. There's the back. It feel, it does feel nice so far. I think at the end of the day for me it's gonna be uh price price it if it's worth that. But I mean you know they say you get what you pay for, right? So I'm not I'm not dogging it because it's more expensive. I'm just saying some of the other lines that I'm looking at of of hair stuff to try is cheaper, so that makes me kind of happy because I I don't remember spending thirty six dollars on this in two in two thousand twenty two, but apparently I did. So here we are, and I used it for quite a bit. But that's what you get when you have memory issues. All right, guys. So here's uh there it is. It's shiny. It's pretty. I'm not upset. We won't know until it's dry. I wanted to also mention the smell. It's just a real light smell. It's not super strong. I almost want to say it doesn't have a smell, but then, you know, your hair would smell like hair. <laughs> and, and it doesn't. It has just a real subtle, uh, literally, there's nothing. It wouldn't mix with any smells. So, I mean, I, I so far I'm very happy with it, you know. Um, but, yeah. I guess we won't know until it's completely dry. It does feel like kind of a little waxy in here somewhere. I'm also a really hard person to judge this because I do have like neuropathy. So my hands will kind of feel like I have really thick gloves on. I don't have much feeling in my hands. And when I do what I can feel, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's like wearing thick gloves. So I can kind of get, you know, an idea of it. But as far as like real in-depth, probably not. But I do, but because of that, I have an issue with certain like if things are certain I don't want to say texture but if they feel a certain way I just can't stand it so I notice that if I'm like really playing with my hair a lot or like how I was playing with the wigs in the last video that we got um that, that's usually a good sign that uh for me anyways that I like it um I think you guys know from the one of my other videos too when I was reviewing like a hair cream or something I just was miserable because I couldn't stand how my hair felt and I just really wanted to get it out of my hair so there we go. Uh, it's getting longer. Uh, we're getting there. And uh, I'll see you guys when it's dry. Uh, much love and all that stuff. And I hope you're having a good day. All right, well, it's the next day. And uh, so here's the deal. I accidentally fell asleep with the hair clip in. So this will be learning like, or not learning. Well, I guess it is learning. But yeah, you get it. I have no idea how bad. <laughs> What that means my hair is going to look like, but, uh, oh yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I slept with it. Oh, wow. Okay. This is bad. I slept with my hair clipping with wet hair. Um, I was not expecting my daughter to sleep through the night. Um, she hasn't. <laughs> and then I, when I had to take my son to school this morning, I was going to just put on a little eyeliner just to try and draw attention away from this massive thing on my face that's just been bugging me personally and my dog barked so I put on such a thick line I had to just kind of go with it and make my whole face like going out eyeliner which because I don't wear anything else but eyeliner you know usually unless it's for fun or something or I have a reason to I guess <laughs> I don't wear foundation though usually because it makes my like face real bad so I just use like like acne concealer when I get a zit that's bad enough anyways <laughs> so uh you know you fall asleep with a hair clip and it can go either way uh, this is not what I expected any of this to come out 
like, but I mean, I could always uh, make it look like it was on purpose. It's not quite the smooth, silky reveal I was expecting when I... Anyway, here we are. And it is what it is. This is not the product's fault. This is my fault because I fell asleep with wet hair in a clip. And it made my hair pretty curly. <laughs> Funny. All right, but since it has, since it is the next day, I do have some honest, uh, honest feelings about this. I've had a little time figured out. I will say that my hair did feel like uh, better, you know, when I uh, went to pick up my uh, kiddo from school yesterday. You know, my hair was still drying from this stuff, from washing it out. And uh, I could honestly tell already that it had repaired some stuff going on. I could, I could tell. And I'm not trying to say it was like when you have conditioner and it's like super smooth and silky kind of thing. It was different from that. I, but I, I don't know how to explain that. I could tell that it, it fixed some stuff that needed to be, you know, fixed in my hair so I can see why it would be recommended to you know maybe keep up with and I left it in for an hour instead of five to ten minutes to provides a protective barrier type thing all right so for me for 36 bucks um like uh I feel like it made my hair feel better I do but it's not like I, I basically I would still have to follow up with conditioner for my hair. Everyone's hair is different. I feel like it did do what it needed to do, but it didn't give me like super. And I mean, I'm not saying it's not smooth. It is, but I wanted, you know, and I, I'm shedding. My hair is shedding. It's, I'm so due for a haircut. Let me know if you guys want to come with me on my haircut. I'll do a little vlog thing. I only go like maybe twice a year. I I I haven't cut my own hair because of, you know, I don't want to actually stab myself with my scissors because my hands are bad. But since we have those hair cutting wigs, maybe I'll give it a shot on those and then I'll probably, I, I, I'm honestly addicted to cutting my own hair a lot who isn't, you know, it's hard when it's just, when it's this long and you can like see it. It's hard to not want to mess with it all the time. But I'm trying to grow it out. I guess that's probably another reason I don't mess with it. I'm off track, you guys, because I keep staring at these curls in the other mirror. Because it's just kind of uh, funny to me. Funny. It keeps... Uh, it keeps. It's like the frizziest, like, halves curled, halves not curled. You can tell even here, even when I get up close... You can kind of tell that it didn't, it doesn't feel soft and luxur uh, luxurious, but it does feel like it, you know, cleaned my hair and really, you know, maybe helped with some of the, it did take, honestly, I feel like it faded some of my color. Let me see. I feel like it did fade some of my color and it's supposed to be like a pr protection thing, right? It says helps prevent color fade. And protects against breakage, reinforced bonds. I don't know. Let, let me guys know. Do I don't use a lot of like bond stuff, but uh, and like I've put Olaplex in my bleach and stuff. But as far as like this goes, I feel like it did do something basically. But I would need to follow up with a conditioner. And for me, I was kind of hoping for a one stop shop that if I'm going to do a treatment like this or put something like this in my hair, I would hope that it would come out. You know, as smooth as if I used one of my regular everyday conditioners, especially since it didn't say a follow-up conditioner. So I feel like it did what it's supposed to do. And I do feel like I like it. Um, I don't feel like for me $36 when I'm kind of been eyeballing another product that's $24 that might possibly do what I want for my hair and my type of hair um, as far as reconstructors go. And it's kind of hard. I'm kind of a biased. It's kind of bi uh, It's kind of a biased opinion. Is it unbiased? Unbiased? Biased? Biased. Uh, because I just have an addiction to trying new things. So, um, but you know, if, if you really love something, you're going to want to buy it again. Like I have this Kenra Silkening Gloss that smells like strawberries that I bought. And I, I believe like a, a, um, I got my hair cut at a Walmart, like, like 10 years ago or so and I, I don't know it's 10 years my time frame's off within the last 10 years I had gotten one there 
silicone and gloss and I'm still addicted to it. So that's one thing that I will spend the money, which my, to me, it feels like an expense, you know, I'll, I'll buy that again. I have bought that again. So my, you know, t take my opinions as you will. Everyone's hair is different. I just happen to be doing this already. It was already in there and I really wanted to give to to kind of go more in depth in this especially since i've been uh, i'm going to be trying the x mondo line and i wasn't sure whether it's to start with more of his wave tech stuff or go but i'll probably maybe go more i have the picture here again i was just kind of browsing browsing around and i saw that he has some kind of the reconstructors so i'm going to try something different because like for the millionth time i'm so repetitive but like everyone's hair is different so uh, will I use it again until it's gone? Yeah, but I will probably follow up with one of my conditioners as well. So I'll probably in a week throw this in, uh, you know, when I'm doing regular conditioner. But besides that, I, I do I do feel fluffy, voluminous. It did give my hair some, like, oomph, honestly, uh, as you can see. So it, it doesn't feel, like, weighed down or greasy or anything like that Su super fluffy and where and I can imagine if I would have had a little frizzy because I did a clip so that doesn't help but I, I could imagine you know if I would have braided it or, or any anything you're gonna do I have a lot of volume it feels clean and it, it I'm not saying it's not soft it is soft I just was expecting uh just just a little bit more you know I keep picturing my head how soft, but now that I'm staring at this and how fluffy it is without having to blow dry my hair, because I don't like blow drying my hair. So to get this much volume, but also feel like my hair is clean. There's a lot of frizz though. So I, I do like this part of it. It's fun. Ugh, I'm still recovering from whatever cold kicked me in my kiddo's butt last week. So, you know, now I'm looking at it with some styling cream to get rid of some of the frizz and, you know, whatever. And a little bit of love. I think that that part of it's great. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, but I am not much one for having time to do all that stuff. Like, that's why I really like doing these videos with you guys. Because it makes me take a little bit of extra time to do that kind of stuff but I, I i'm more just like to with the way my life is and some days when i get up like i can't do anything at all and so for me i just you know would like something in my regimen that you know when i do do my hair that'll just make it that really nice soft you know so um but as far as something to give me some volume and to just and put a little bit of that in there that's great. But for like a one-stop shop where you don't got to follow up maybe with some conditioner, maybe just a little bit of something for the frizzies. And I can't stress this enough that everyone's hair is different. I have super, like, I don't know, wavy, thick hair. I get so much of it thinned out when I do go get my hair cut. And you can see it's still really thick. Um, and I also do a lot of damage to my hair. And so I really, I love doing these videos but I just uh, I know I forget sometimes too when I'm watching somebody do something to their hair or color their hair a certain way and I kind of just forget that my hair is different and that you know color takes differently everything's different but um that's why uh please comment and and put your opinions and let me know uh what you guys think in general about maybe this product or maybe one's related to it or what your experience is, is is do you like using another conditioner to follow up with these kinds of things um i can tell i do like it though because i won't stop playing with my hair so there is that um and i guess that's about all i can say on the as far as what we what you know you guys uh came here to hang out and do with me you know it's it's said and done it's the next day i'm moving on uh, i'm not disappointed I did wonder if I was going to have to go back and rewash my hair today and maybe add some more conditioner and everything. But to be honest, I don't have to do that. I'm not going to do that. So for me, that's a win in my book. Um, the smell the next day, it's just a nice, clean, real subtle. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's just a, I don't know how to explain it, but it's nice because it's not, I really couldn't even describe it as a smell just besides kind of clean. I'm really sensitive to really strong smells these days sometimes. So there's that. Um, 
the price kind of hurt a little bit so i am going to obviously uh branch out like i said before if, if it's something's more expensive and it's and it's amazing and it works for you then save up and get it you know um me i don't have like that uh i can save up for certain things but i you know for for me in my situation you know i have other things that have to come first so i try to really space out uh, things if the price goes too high um so that's why but you know i'm getting so off topic because we don't need to get into all that but do what works for you if but if there is something that costs a little more that i know that might you know be something you know cheer me up i guess or just a little thing for yourself you know i will save up for it and eventually i will get it um because it's good to just treat yourself to like that just little thing even if it's like a slushy from the gas station which is one of my favorite treats i really think it's important that even you know like me i got kids and stuff going on and you know and just in general people you know i feel like we tend to forget about ourselves in like the hustle and bustle of everything and so i really hope that you guys can also, you know, try to find time and just a little thing that brings you joy. And if it's something that seems unachievable, really just just put aside just a little bit and know that that you know you got that kind of working for, you know, you and your future. Like all things take time and nothing happens overnight. And um so do what makes your heart happy, you know, little things if you can't do some of your bigger dreams right in that moment. Even if it's just taking like 5 seconds and I don't know, doing a, a foot soak that you haven't done in so long because you feel like, you know, bad because you don't want to take time away from the kids or your family or something. Or if you don't have a family, maybe you just feel bad treating yourself nice because people have made you feel bad your whole life. Who knows? That happens to you. I've been there. So either way, uh, I'm getting a little emotional about this little worked up because I just feel so strongly for you guys out there in the fact that take time for you just a second okay because you're worth it and you're beautiful and uh you just gotta love yourself just a tiny bit okay try try that's all i ask because i'm not saying i do it every day or every minute or any even every second but i'm trying and it's uh it's giving me a little bit of peace and i want you guys to have a little bit of peace but i guess besides that um, I think I'm going to be running to Sally's to get some more hair color, even though I have a lot. There's some colors I don't have yet. So let me know if you guys want to run with me to Sally's. I'll do like a vlogger video. Um, let me know and then I will bring you guys with and do a video on that. And uh, another thing I've also been thinking of before I go is there, I noticed there's a lot of vivids I still haven't tried. I kind of got stuck in a one cycle of vivid hair colors and I realized the other day I've never tried Lunar Tides and the packaging looks a lot like the Manic Panic, and I can't believe I've never tried it. I've seen it just a million times. I've been like in the Pulp Riot area and the Manic Panics and the Iro Iro or Iro Iro. Don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so you guys want to come to Sally's with me? Check it out or not. Either way, uh, I don't think they have Lunar Tides at Sally's. I'm going for other stuff just to really see what hair colors they have going on. I haven't been in there in a minute. And uh, I think it'd be fun if you guys wanted to come look and see what's there. And Lunar Tides, I might check that out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you if there's any certain shades of Lunar Tides you've been wanting to try, it'll be my first time trying Lunar Tides. And I know what kind of hair colors I'm going for and what direction. Um, but if there's one you guys want to try before that, I have no problem giving it a go. I have plenty of hair to color. So let me know. Much love, comments, everything. Um, subscribe if if you're new and you've hung and you've hung out this long then uh, I hope you hang out again and subscribe you know so much love guys I'm gonna get back to my day and I look forward to seeing you guys very soon because you know I can't stay away from you very long I'd miss you too much the squirrels in my brain because that's where my mind went you know I can't let you guys not get to see how pretty it looks in the sun so look at that I got like a nice wave out of this product uh I didn't put anything else in yet since I just finished the video and I was walking through here to see if I could get some good pictures and I just thought it looks really cute you know a little bit of something to get rid of the frizz and we got something here so I'm really happy about that to be honest with you so I'm glad it didn't go exactly what I was expecting um so as far as that it's kind of like you know I have something some styling cream in or something Either way, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm happy I did it. I'm happy where it went. You know, this is after being in the wind.
day one. And it looks like I rat tailed it. So don't get me wrong. This is the look I, I would normally go for when I would, I'll rat tail it. I love my hair big. I've always loved my hair so big. But um, as far as for what I was going for, uh, I was, uh, that wasn't what I was going for. So I'm happy and I'm in a great mood and I'm like, yeah, I'm having a great day. I feel so, so young again or whatever. But, uh, at the same time, was it what I was, and I was going for a self care day, but, um, was I expecting it to, to me knowing I just washed it I'm probably going to have to put another conditioner in a couple of days or in a day just to, to get these, this, uh, <laughs> figured it out. It's kind of snarling because my hair is so thick. And so, yeah, the snarling, yes, okay, I'm almost done talking. See, he's trying to tell me to tell you guys why. Okay. All right, you get the point, right? I, I just defeated the purpose. So, um, am I happy that I spent that money on it? If, if I would have bought that now and used it, I would probably be more disappointed. But since I've had it so long, I'm not too disappointed. I don't know. Here's the next time. Here's the next try. Guys, I wish um, that that had been the end of the video, but uh, there is a chain of events that happened after filming later on that night. And so I just thought I'd show you guys this real quick. Really? Like, really? Yeah. So that happened. And uh, it's just been getting tangled and it's a mess. And I just didn't feel right posting the video, knowing that like this is the results that I had later. Um, so as much as it hurts my heart to have something negative to say, I won't be using it again. Like I said, I was gonna, it, my hair just didn't like it, you know? So uh, <laughs> now I got like this really, just ratty. It's in like just way worse condition, honestly. I had no idea it was going to go this route road. I mean, it's just, uh, my hair, my hair just didn't like it. Um, <laughs> I don't think it should have, uh, like affected my hair quite this much. So as much as I dig the volume, it's, <laughs> that's something I could have just done myself with another product without having this tangled mess. I mean, we're going to have to fix this. I'm not saying it like looks bad per se, but if you could feel it and well, you saw the clip. I mean, it's just like fried guys. You know, so uh, looks like I'm going to spend an extra day fixing this and trying to give it some more love. Um, so I guess uh, this is goodbye again. I really thought that that was going to be like, oh, and this is all I did. I put it in a bun like this, like I always do when I'm just trying to get stuff done. And when I try to take my bun out, that is what happened. So I don't know. It's uh, It's kind of a mess. It's not my favorite thing right now. So. Much love to you guys. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Are you guys' uh, comments, is it just my hair didn't work with, with that? Have you guys ever used it before? Um, I'm definitely going to move along from that. I do have uh, from their line the, the stuff that you put like in your bleach, almost like an Olaplex. I have used that in my bleach before. I'm going to be bleaching my hair again soon, like I just said. So if you guys want me to try that, that's fine. Um, could always grab like an Olaplex and maybe compare them when I'm ble doing bleaching hair. But honestly, the bleach that I use right now, the Schwarzkopf, has like the bonds, bonders or whatever it is in it. We can get into that in another video. I'm going to be bleaching my hair soon. Let me know if there's anything you guys want me to go over in my next bleaching video. Um, like you can see we're already about there and I'm just like itching to dye my hair. Oh, and I expect nothing less these days. <laughs> uh, so I'm real nauseous. So I'm, uh, and of course my phone died and... I can't remember, but I th the point is, is, um, I'm good, uh, not a fan, and, uh, it, it could be because it's, uh, older and been sitting, you know, or it could be my hair, didn't agree with it, uh, either way, I got a mess to fix, and, um, sorry guys. Sorry, I cannot kick this nausea today. The anti-nausea stuff's not working. Anyways, um, 
we got to fix this. So uh, stick around. Let's try to fix this. It's driving me nuts. Uh, check out my next video because I'm just going to jump on that because it's driving me nuts. Um, but much love to you in this video. Uh, not a fan. Moving on from that and probably will not use it. Let me know what you think, what went wrong. I don't know, um, but that's where I stand. Let me know if you guys want to come to Sally's with me. I think I already mentioned that. And don't worry, I'm um, actually, I'm still going to be doing the hair getting too long in the hair cutting video. We're going to need a lot more. So um, I do have, it's, it's pretty roomy in here. I absolutely love it. Like got so blessed with this bathroom. It's like the bathroom's always been a safe place for me since I was younger. Um, uh, you know, it is what it is. We don't need to get into why or anything, but it just always has been my favorite place. And it's just cool. I got like the way this bathroom was designed. It was like it was meant for me. Um, so it's kind of cool. Everything about my life right now, I feel like I went through a lot to, to get here. And it's I'm not saying it's easy, but it's it's definitely I'm blessed because all I ever wanted was was my life to be filled with, with love and a family, even when things are hard. And, um, and I've been on the other side of things, you know, alone and living out of cars and not having a car, you know, homeless, you know, it, you know, it is what it is. That, um, and so I'm just really blessed that I have gotten to a point in my life where even when things are tough, I, I, uh, you know, I have my, my kids are so full of love and, um, I'm trying to live every day full of love and. You know, my partner, he's full of love. He's amazing. And it's all I ever wanted was was just love in a home. So, um, sorry, I get sentimental. I feel like it's just a MO. I am nauseous, so I kind of, my brain tends to wander. Much love to you guys. Uh, and let's fix this hair in the next video real quick so we can get it all floofed up and soft for and undamaged before we put some more bleach in it because I'm trying to grow it out. Um, and yeah, sorry, sorry, Brazilian bond builder, but I went so squirrel on this video because this threw me for a loop. It honestly did. Oh, it'll be a quick video. Let's hang out. Uh, you know, I'm going to wash my hair and do my thing, but this, uh, it threw me for a loop that day too, how it knotted up my hair and made it like dry like this. I'm still kind of in shock. Like, I don't feel like I should have to follow up with a conditioner with this. I think it should have. I don't think it should have uh, done what it did. It's just, so it's driving me nuts. You can tell because I'm rambling, which means that I just, uh, the more I ramble, I feel like it's the more I'm trying to stay out of my own head, huh? So I don't like it. Hate to say that. I feel bad for it, but it, it's true. Yeah, much love. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say besides I look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye.